Hello, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Melissa Buenas, but you can call me Mel. And today we're gonna go plant supply shopping, plant decor shopping at the dollar store. So stick around if you wanna see what I find. And then at the end, I'll let you know what I actually bought. Just to let you know, most likely this is going to be a voiceover because they usually do have music playing. So just kind of a heads up. Let me know in the comments if you do not mind that or if you rather me actually be talking. I'm just kind of curious. But anyways, let's go shopping. Alright, so I don't think you're ready to see all the good stuff that I have to share with you today, but we got to start somewhere, right? <laughs> so here on the back wall, there was a few things before going into the aisle. Uh, they had some trellises that you can use for the garden outdoors, but remember you can also use these indoors for your vining plants. They have trellises that are different styles, different shapes, and then also some hangers. Now let me take you into the first aisle. This is where I found a lot of garden supplies. This first item is one that I personally use for my plants. These are bamboo poles that are about five feet and I love them for my vining plants. And then you also have the same concept but in green in a different type of material. And next we have some fencing. So this is cute little fencing that you can add to your garden outdoors. It would also be kind of neat to use these on an accent wall in a plant room. Also, I'm so excited to see these back in store because I use these a lot for my plants and they are bamboo trellises. You would have definitely seen these previously on my channel, maybe in my plant room tour or any video where I'm recording in my plant room. Lastly, in this section, they have a few more fencing and border options that may fit your outdoor style and color palette. Moving on to some more plant accessories and supplies. At the bottom here, they have some plant stands on wheels. These are very helpful, especially if you don't want the pots to ruin your hardwood floor or just to make it easier to move plants around. Here's an option that is wood and you can put the wheels on yourself. Two great options depending on your home decor style and colors. Give me a moment while I struggle to slide this back on the shelf. <laughs> In this section, we have a lot of tin or metal baskets or cover pods that you can use for your plants. You can use these indoors and outdoors. I think they make a good accent color and accessory to your plant. There is also these hanging baskets that you put on your wall. I think this would look really cute in the bathroom or in a plant room. They also have the plastic lining, which is also a bonus. If you'd like to add a little bit more color to your accessories and your cover pods, then you'll definitely find a little bit in this section. You have some blue, you have some purple, some sage. I thought this little set was cute because it comes with three smaller buckets on a tray and I thought this was really cute for some succulents, some propagations, or just maybe some little tools. And then here you have some bigger buckets that have some signage on it, some twine, a little bit of an accent with the brown and the metal. So definitely different shapes and sizes depending on what you want to use it for. I'm excited to show you the next few items because you may not even know that the dollar store sells these and they are garden cloches. So I think that you could use these for indoor or outdoor just to kind of help with the humidity for your plants. They even sell these little sets or kits where you have the bottom grow pot and then the cover as well. And then these I've definitely used before. These are just plastic saucers that I find helpful because they have a little bit of a lift. Moving on up, we have a lot of plant accessories and tools. This Velcro tape I think is a really great find. I personally use it as well and you get quite a bit for just a few dollars. And here you have some labels that you can use to put into your pots, some label stickers. So a great option if you need to actually label some of your plants like seedlings or some propagations. This item I thought was pretty cool and interesting because they are clips that are the shape of a circle so that when you wrap it around a vine or a post, it secures the 
plant and holds it without hurting it. This item will be helpful come winter time because it is a frost protection fleece for your plants outside that you're worried if they're going to freeze over the winter. You can put this over top before it starts to snow. I thought I would just give you a glimpse of the next few rows because they are accessories for your hose. So you can interchange it depending on kind of what your preference is and what you're looking for. This next item is going to come in handy and it is a soil scoop. I know you can use your hands or a cup or anything really to scoop soil into pots, but it's always fun to have those accessories and tools available to you. And it just makes it more fun when you are repotting. At the dollar store, you will also find some shears and pruners. I personally bought these pruners already and I've been using them, especially for propagating. And we have some more gardening supplies and tools for cutting and for shoveling. Even have some small shovels here that have a little bit more of a cushion on the handle. This is helpful when you're trying to dig stuff up to make holes to put plants in, bulbs and stuff like that. Just make things easier. And you even have some knee pads because I didn't realize that, hey, these are actually pretty helpful when you're on your knees gardening for probably an hour or two. They can come in handy. And then of course, a bunch of gardening gloves. Here are some other items that you may not have even known that the dollar store sells. And these are greenhouse seed starter kits, which I thought are really cool. If you're into that, if you are trying to do it on a budget or save some money, check out your dollar store. They even have these trays with little grow pots, which I thought were super good for propagations, especially if you're cutting multiple cuttings at a time, maybe selling them. These are great options and even some more trays for seeds. Next, believe it or not, the dollar store does sell plant food for the garden. There's two types. I don't know about the quality of it, but definitely check it out if you want to try it out. I personally haven't tried it. They also have some seeds for vegetables. This pressure spray, I personally own one and I find it helpful because you could use it when your plants have pests or to just clean the foliage. And of course, you can also add some treatment into the water and some good old soil mix bags which are helpful of course these you would have to amend with some other things like perlite and orchid bark but this is i think a good base especially for two dollars and fifty cents i didn't notice these the first time i went through the gardening gloves but now i definitely noticed them and they are gardening gloves that have monstera leaves on them so i definitely grabbed a pair of those for myself <laughs> Now we are in the next aisle that is fully dedicated to plant supplies, which I think is pretty awesome because this is a lot of stuff uh, that you can find at the dollar store. So here I'm just showing you another alternative for a potting mix, just a different company, I guess. There's a lot of spray bottles that you can use for your plants and you can also label them for different things. Here's another company for a potting mix and then here's another one so I guess you could read the label and see what they all have to offer especially like if the price is different or the amount these spray bottles are definitely helpful I use these quite a bit I have like three or four of them and I just have different liquids in them like soap or treatment or just water they have a bunch of bright, colorful watering cans that are blue, red, yellow, green. I think these are fun. They are plastic, so they could be used for indoor and outdoor. To continue on with the colorful vibe and also to match your watering can are these hanging planters. They're rectangle and they have two hooks on the back so you can hook it onto your balcony, your railing, on your porch, in the backyard. If you have some sort of a planter, then you can hang it off of there. This provides a lot of opportunity, especially if you grow herbs or anything like that, like even smaller flowers or plants, you have an option to display them in different places and they're pretty sturdy and thick so I would definitely recommend them. Moving on to some pots and also cover pots. These black ones I was actually impressed on the size of this cover pot. It's black, has some detailing, it's thick, it's plastic but you are definitely able to also spray paint it another color if you'd like. These are pots that actually have a saucer built into it so you could pop it out and it already has drainage holes. It is plastic so you would just have to pick a suitable plant for this kind of pot. 
and you can tell on the shelf that there are a lot of colors that you can choose from and these smaller pot options up here I would say are more like cover pots unless you plan to drill holes in them they are a good option in that way but they do not have holes already in them so that's just something to keep in mind this was also a great find because I've seen these at Canadian Tire and Home Depot and Lowe's and stuff, but the dollar store also has these rectangle planters. They don't come with drainage holes, but again, you can drill those in. These are definitely a lower price than the big box stores, and these would be great for any of your house plants that are crawlers. So definitely a great find for those types of plants. You will also find a bunch of ceramic pots at the dollar store and the good thing about these is that they have a saucer already attached to them and they come with a drainage hole. A great option for your plants for decor if you want to change it up. You may just want to use it as a cover pot too if you still want to put a grow pot into this. I love the colors that they have to offer even like this specific pot. I love that light blue with the white It even has the detailing a bit of texture. Some beautiful pots for a low price. This next pot is not my style but definitely a great option as well. It has a little bit more of a picture on it, some detailing and it's two colors as well so another option. This next section is my personal favorite and it is a section full of terracotta pots different sizes and depending on what Dollarama you go to they may have different sizes so I went to a Dollarama the week before I think and they had big terracotta pots so definitely keep your eye out because there may be different sizes available I personally love these they do the job although some people may say that the terracotta is made differently in these pots so I don't know it's up to you if you want to buy these if you like them great if not no worries and then mostly they will have the saucer that would correspond with the size although it looks like they were sold out here I wanted to show you that the dollar store also has these vases. If you're familiar with the parfait method of rooting cuttings and propagating where you have the Lekka balls and the perlite at the bottom, this is a great option, especially for that method. You guys, I am so excited to share with you this find. These cups or vases or vases, whatever you want to call them, have a Monstera design on it. I loved these. I grabbed one or a few, you'll see, but I was so happy about this find. <laughs> This next item was a random find, but I still wanted to share it with you. There was only three packages and they are plant pot supports. There's four in each. And these are great for like terracotta pots that you have on concrete or wood just to avoid the pot from scratching that surface. All right, so this next aisle is gonna be focused more on decor. This first item is a marble look wall shelf. You could use it to display plants on a windowsill or in a bathroom. It does only hold five pounds, so something to keep in mind. This one is a decorative wall shelf that looks like wood and some black hardware, so a little bit of that farmhouse style. Both are also great options for a plant room, of course. <laughs> Next we have some frames and canvases, pictures that have some plants on them. And then there's a whole section full of faux plants. You have cactus, you have succulents, you have flowers, bonsai, quite a few options to display in different places in your home where maybe you just want a touch of green, but not necessarily want to have to you know, take care of a plant. It, maybe it's a small nook or a dark place. So these are also a good option if you want to substitute, but still want that planty vibe, you know? <laughs> I really did like this bonsai looking plant because of the detail. So you see that there's stones at the bottom. The pot is actually really nice. So it's such a great touch so that you don't really miss out on being able to put that plant somewhere in your home. And this is just the other side of the aisle. This is more like the crafty section, I would say, of the dollar store. And you will definitely find a little bit more options when it comes to plant decor. Here is a faux monstera, which I thought was so funny there was only two of them hidden in the corner so keep your eye out again if you are just looking for some of these personally I don't have any faux plants in my home but I'm sure a lot of you um, would love to have some of this if you're unable to have some real plants in your home some random tropical stickers which I personally also purchased they are super cute 
If you're interested in more of the plain metal tin baskets or buckets, you will find them also in the craft section if you're wanting to spray paint them or just want them simply one color or just steel. So definitely great options. These are smaller buckets. You can use them for indoor and outdoor, although they will rust. So you may just want to keep that in mind. Some more great plant decor options. One of them is this wreath hanger. It's clear and it's plastic. I love these because they're a great option if you wanna hang some vining plants from your door. I do have like my Brazil philodendron on a door. These are a good option. Uh, these are curtain panels that are sheer if you do get some bright direct light from some of your windows you can use this to avoid some of that harsher light coming through the window and touching your plants and yes I did grab this for myself This is also a great tool to have for your plants. It is a magnifying glass that lights up. You may have seen these on you know, Instagram or in other videos where it is helpful to just look a little closely to the foliage of your plants to see whether or not there are pests on them. And again, you can find it at the dollar store. So we are still in the craft section. I would say where you will see some supplies and stuff like that and within that section you will find some pebbles and rocks and stuff like that some marbles even these are good options like if you're doing pebble trays or if you want to use it as decor or for like a fountain or anything like that so a great option they do come in different packaging different sizes depending on how much you need even different colors so keep an eye out for these as well like I said I'm pretty sure we're in the craft section because even in front of us as you see here they have different types of rope so they have like jute rope they have thicker like you can do a plant hanger some DIYs so definitely check this section out if you're thinking of any other planty DIY projects this is a random item that I'm gonna make it plant related because I think it's a good option if you wanna keep some of your planty supplies organized. This is a storage bin that closes shut, it has a handle. So if you wanna keep it in your plant room or somewhere in your home where you can kind of, you know, just go to this bin and get whatever supplies you need. There's also other options like little shelving units, different trays, different bins that have smaller compartments. Just some other ideas to consider. And I just randomly wanted to place a uh, clip of scissors and stuff like that, just so that you remember that there's some basic items that you can also buy at the dollar store. Some people may not like this option, but I did want to put it out there. The dollar store does sell plastic cups in packages of 30 or 18. This is a great option if you are making a lot of propagations, putting them in moss or perlite, or if you're selling a lot of plants, this is a very cost-effective way to be able to, you know, make a lot of cuttings all at once. This is another random item that I found that I just wanted to put out there. These are paper straws. You could use these to aerate your soil as opposed to like something plastic or wood. Now we are in the next aisle, which you guessed it, is the container aisle. These are fantastic options for prop boxes or even if you want to store your soil. So definitely check out your dollar store container section because you'll be surprised on the prices compared to a place like Walmart or big box stores. There's definitely a variety of shapes and sizes and you will find containers that have clear covers, which is definitely a bonus when it comes to something like a propagation station or a propagation container. This next container option, I would say, would be maybe a better idea for perlite, orchid bark, or even worm castings, just because you can serve it as needed when you are repotting. 
When I tell you there's a lot of options in this aisle, I'm really not joking. Like even these containers are great options when it comes to storing supplies or organizing your plant room a little bit. Even when it comes to, you know, dumping out any soil that you want to get rid of or the old soil versus new soil. Even when it comes to repotting, you could put the plant in one of them while you're repotting. This next container option is personally my go-to option because it's all clear and I do have an IKEA greenhouse cabinet so these specifically fit perfectly underneath the cabinet and on top so when it comes to storage but also for my prop boxes that have you know propagations in perlite or in sphagnum moss or even in small cups they fit in those containers this was again a random thought that this is a good bucket when you are repotting these are good as well because they are deeper so when you're repotting you can have the plant in it while you're you know playing around with it and cleaning it up so another great option I think I'm trying to look for the price and I think in a second I'll probably show you the bottom of it. Yeah. So again, different colors. Dollar Store does have a lot of colorful options, which is good. This is a little caddy, which I thought was a great idea if you want to put, you know, a cloth or a spray, some tape or some scissors and stuff like that as you're walking around the house checking up on your plants this would be a good convenient way to walk around with your supplies and obviously there are some buckets if you want to use to mix your soil in stuff like that we are finally in the last aisle that I want to show you when it comes to certain plant supplies because you can count on me to make anything plant related. <laughs> so this section has hooks and has hangers and stuff like that that you can use for the walls and for the ceiling. I also show you furniture protectors that you would put like at the bottom of furniture or a bottom of the table, but you could also use them for the bottom of your pots. All right, so I'm home now and I'm going to let you know what I did purchase today. So first thing I did buy this clear hanger that you can put on your door. I love this for my long vining trailing plants that I have on hangers uh, or, you know, hanging planters. So this is always a good option. And then I bought this stool, I believe it was $4, and I just like it just so that when I'm repotting or need to grab something in the closet, then that's helpful. I did end up buying these sheer curtain panels. I like to use these for my IKEA greenhouse cabinet, which you may have seen in a previous video, but then I also want to maybe use them in the spring slash summer because that door in my plant room tends to bring in a lot of light in the morning. So these are gonna come in handy. And then also I did end up buying, let's go over here. I did end up buying these, you would have seen. These are some gardening gloves that have Monstera on it. Of course I had to grab this. <laughs> and then I bought these super cute, different glass vases or cover pots or I don't know, glass piece. Uh, I don't even know what to call them. <laughs> And they were three dollars each, but I love that you that you can see. I don't know if I, I'll try to get a close up. So hopefully you can see the tracing of a monstera leaf and some palm leaves. So I thought this was super interesting, very subtle. You know, not colorful. It's just something that you can use around the house on your island, on the coffee table. Uh, you can put a candle in it. This can be used for like a propagation or a cover pot you can put a plant in it so i don't know there's a variety of things or to put supplies i don't know we'll see what i use them for but i've never seen these before so i did buy three of them and i love them for three dollars like you could just use them for whatever right and then i did end up getting this soil scoop and you could just hang it off of your caddy because uh, i do have one of those three shelf uh, caddies on wheels so i could just have this hanging on the side. So yeah, super helpful, but that was my little haul. 
All right, so I hope you enjoyed shopping with me today. I definitely had a lot of fun. Leave a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite find from the dollar store. Maybe after watching this video, you decide to step out and check out what's in your dollar store. But thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you soon.